Antarctica has been incredibly important to science and discovery throughout our history. Much of the science and discovery was made possible through the establishment of the Antarctic Treaty signed on December 1st in 1959. The treaty has allowed for international collaboration and a much better understanding of the importance of Antarctica to our planet as a whole. The Smithsonian Institution is hosting the 50th anniversary of the Antarctic Treaty Summit on November 30th through December 2nd, which serves to celebrate, share, and discuss the accomplishments of the Antarctic Treaty and its implications in governance of international spaces. The Smithsonian has a long history of Antarctic research, and just to offer a few examples, there's a scientific diving program where we train uh, scientists to dive under the ice and we also have an Antarctic meteorite program, which accessioned over 12,000 specimens of meteorites, which help us understand the origin of the universe and our solar system. There have been more meteorites found from the Antarctic ice sheets in the last 20 years than there have anywhere else on the planet in the last 500. We also have in our Natural History Museum uh, the collection of the U.S. Antarctic invertebrates, which uh, is a biodiversity study and it basically helps us understand the effects of uh, global climate change on uh, the Antarctic and on our planet as a whole. Uh, the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory is also integrally involved in the South Pole Telescope and as the highest, driest, windiest, coldest continent on Earth, it makes for an ideal platform to study astrophysics and uh, the stars above. We're all very excited about the Antarctic Treaty Summit because this is the first time, obviously, in 50 years that we've been able to do this and share our findings and discoveries and scientific results with the world community at large in the interests of all mankind.